Well, looking back just two years ago, I can't help but be amazed what we've been able to come through as a church in Idaho. We have been blessed. And that blessing comes through you, your people of faith. I mean, I'll ask you a question, it's rhetorical. But do you ever say in your life, what would I do without faith? I think most of us have said that many times this past year, two years. What would I do without my faith? Which means to me that we have experienced the power of Christ within. We are blessed to know our Lord and his care for us. And that has made the church in Idaho very strong. We are people of faith. We move forward. We hope. We trust. And this year, again, we're going to move into another campaign helping to support the church we love. And this year's theme is moving forward in Christ. How appropriate. Moving forward in Christ, which we have been doing. You're going to hear testimonies from a few. And they give reason, again, to give hope to our diocese in the work they do and what they're involved with. I would ask that you consider to give a gift, gift generosity of your part as a, a statement of faith to that we can continue to build this church. We are so blessed. Thank you for your support. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your time today. God bless you. Always find joy in the smallest of things. That is what we found in you. Oh, 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 oh. You are joy. The stop that the pandemic caused uh, made us, made me certainly, and I've heard from others, appreciate the little things. But what I really noticed when the church reopened is the joy of people, the happiness of being able to get back to the sacraments and to the mass. There was a joy there that I hadn't always seen before. The people were kind of, you know, happy, thankful, and I saw how um, hungry they were for coming back to church and celebrate the sacraments, celebrate the Holy Mass, the, the Eucharist, and everything. So that brings me hope. Never give up when the going gets rough. Hope is everything you need. Forward into the future has to be hope. Hope that things are going to get better. Hope in our world. And that hope has to come from the virtue of love. In the Eucharist, we receive all of God. Divinity and humanity joined together. All that God is, he gives to us. And that is the love that we receive from him. You're never alone. That whatever is happening in your life, God is there. And don't forget you're not alone. The Holy Spirit wants to guide you on. The journey, child, will never end once your heart's been marked by a love for him. The smallest of seeds grow the largest of trees. You just have to believe. Oh, 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 you are faith. There will be those who try to bring hate, but love will turn the heart around. Oh, 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 oh you are love. Oh, 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 you are love. We actually have more people coming to church now than what we did. Uh, we have not only survived, but maybe we've gotten stronger. I see a lot of faith in them because they recognize that maybe uh, what happened was for the good of everybody. And don't forget you're not alone. The Holy Spirit wants to guide you on. 
journey child will never end Won't your heart's been marked by a love for him Oh, and everything you say and do Let the Father's light shine inside of you Don't back down or be afraid You have power to stand in Jesus' name Always find joy in the smallest of things That is what we found in you Oh, 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 you are joy